check if my hair is delayed. They're quite late. So I'm wearing my glasses in this video and you guys just have to deal with that. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing I can do for you. Anyway, anyway, if I hit it one time, it will be better days. So before I get into this video, if you're an auntie, you're an uncle, you're a father, you're a mother, and you're watching this, just dip this chat. Because this chat is not for you. If you're my reality, this chat is not for you. I'm giving you five seconds to exit this, and I'll put a card here, a link here that you can go and watch in this free time. Because this is not for you. I don't What are you even doing here? I'm going open, opening this video. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lombe again and I'm back with another banging video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Lombe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and share with your mama, your papa, and your auntie. And if you're not new, welcome back. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we'll be talking about how to get over a heartbreak or how to go through a heartbreak because I feel like that's something we don't talk about enough because it's African culture not to talk about feelings. So in this video, I figured I'll be sharing with you guys some tips that I collected from you know, you you same guys, you same guys are watching. You gave me these tips, and I got some from you know my own. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, here is a short clip from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Moft. If you're somebody like me who is constantly working on their laptop, doing a dozen lab reports, or be it work, whatever it is that you're doing, you know the struggles that come with working on a laptop hours on end. The wrist pain, the back pain, the neck pain. Well, today I have a very interesting product brought to you by Moft. Moft is a brand that sells you high quality digital accessories such as laptop stands, iPad stands, phone stands. And in today's video, Moft gifted me with an invisible laptop stand. So this stand comes with some pretty cool features. The first being a high lifting mode that gives your laptop a three inch lift off the table, allowing you to view documents at eye level. And that avoids the backache and the neck pain that we're trying to run away from this whole time. It's best for viewing videos and documents and not typing because you might stress out your wrists in the process. The next feature is this low lifting mode that gives you a slightly lower lift than the first one and this is best for typing and working as we would normally would because it actually helps your wrist out the whole time. And to add on to everything else, because you have this stand at the back of your laptop, it does not get scratched because it doesn't even touch the table. And for those of us who want to keep our laptops for a long time, this is a very, very special feature. So the last thing that Moft gifted me was this collaboration with Moft and Popo app. And this is basically an application that allows you the fastest way to share your social media and contact information with people. And I mean, we need that in this day and age. We need it. So this magnetic stand allows you four different orientations to place your phone. And it is quite necessary for those of us who are into TikTok, YouTube, going live, anything like that, taking photos. It is a very nice product and I really like it. It's something that you can only place at the back of a glass phone. So for those of you who have glass backs, this is the product for you. So by simply tapping your magnetic grip to the back of a compatible phone, you'll be able to share information such as contact information, pictures, videos, files, anything. It's the fastest way to share your information. And I mean, if you ask me, that is quite a good deal. So to get your hands on any of these Moth products, you can simply click the link in my descriptions at the top of the description box. And for 10% off all the products I showed you in this video, make sure you use the coupon code that is in my description box and you'll get 10% off. Make sure you go shop Moft, okay? <laughs> so I might be talking very speed in this video because I actually have to leave in a bit, but I figured I should sit down and give you guys this advice. Because I feel like, as I said, it's something that we don't talk about a lot and I think there's a lot of mental health that goes into that. And it's very important to teach each other, to educate each other, to share on how everybody goes through this. Cause it's the most one thing let's not pretend it doesn't happen even boys um if you're an auntie and uncle or auntie when you've still decided to enter this video it means that you have acknowledged the fact that i have been heartbroken before deal with it don't come and ask me questions hey you open the video alone nobody asked you to open yes i have been listen i'm 20 years don't expect that in my 20 years of life i've never had a crush man like this happened <laughs> 
I'm here to help my little my girls out there, my boys out there, even big people go through this. So I got tips from you guys on Instagram and a few things that worked for me. I think this is something very important, something that even works even outside relationship wise. It works in a working setup at home, in school, is acceptance. Accept the situation. I think that's something I've learned in the past two years and even with my relationship with God, I've learned acceptance. If something happens, the only way you can get through that situation is to start by accepting that, okay, it has happened. Because if you don't accept that the situation has happened, you live in denial. And that's how you end up being with somebody for three years. No, he will change. No, she will change. He's just the same. He's the same guy for two years. So you have to start by accepting that this situation will not get better than this. And for the sake of my mental health, I have to leave. I think acceptance gives you power. You're getting that power back. Because especially if the person leaves you, you just accept that and you've given yourself back your power. You know what I mean? When you've agreed in your head that this is a situation, the grass is not getting greener, the rainbows are not getting brighter, I have to dip. You'll be more fruitful afterwards. You will not go back. You only go back when you haven't accepted that it's ended. Maybe it's like maybe just like just maybe just this time. Maybe you just <laughs> like you know how if it's been ninety percent bad and ten percent good, you're holding on to that ten percent. You cry. You'll be there for five years. That's how people end up being in a relationship where this guy, this girl, is beating you. They abuse you verbally, physically, everything. But just because of those small sweet sweet moments, no baby girl, I'm sorry. You stay. You kill yourself. So the first thing you have to do is accept that it's done. Accept that this didn't work out this is not the person for me and that way you'll be able to move forward number two this really depends on the person who you were with or how it ended and the type of relationship that you guys had i feel like you should cut all ties with this person for the time being until until you've healed it okay me have healed i know on social media we like that thing of no don't block them so that they can see you shine do you know some people don't care like some people will leave you and don't even care and you're just posting and making these things and making these stories and trying to make them upset and they just don't give a damn <laughs> I really had to do that because there's a song for me that goes like that and I had to sing it. So I know my sister is dying right now. But anyway, I am so serious. I mean, for me, I've been in some hard situations where you can't cut the ties because you're seeing that person daily, daily. <laughs> daily, daily. Listen, if you go to the same school and you can't cut ties with them on social media, if he's going to the cafeteria coming this side, you go that side. People can be toxic because I know the minute that you guys decide to break up and the situation comes for you to talk, maybe he's his friends and you're like, hey, hey, that's it. You're back in. You're back. That's all. And if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean, comment down below. Just like a hi, pa, you've broken it. Now you're back. You're back in that same toxic relationship. But I think it's better to not be in the same environment as a person or allow yourself in the same environment because that only makes it really hard. Please don't stalk them. Don't stalk them. No. I want to see what is possible. You'll be sad. You are looking to hate your own feelings. Even after, some people should just not be in your life. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe in best friendship with your ex. It doesn't make any sense. You can't be like, no, my best is ex. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean my besties? Cut all ties with them, cut them off, and follow their social media. That's fine. You're allowed your peace. Don't let your pride make you suffer for so long. Enjoy your peace. Point number three is my favorite point, and I feel like it's something that a lot of people are going to refuse here, but it's very necessary. Is cry. Scream, cry, laugh, hit the walls. Okay, don't hit the walls. <laughs> Okay, don't don't punch the walls. Like scream, cry, write it down, do something. You're allowed. You have to allow yourself to go through the emotions of something. So that you're done. It's finished. Like if you cry, cry it one time and deep. Don't hold it in because one day you're going to it's gonna blow up. You act like everything's okay. Given the chance, it will blow up. And maybe it will blow up on the wrong person and you'll lose a good person. So that's why you have to give yourself some time. Don't jump into another one two weeks later. No, no. Some people do it for two years, three years, three months, five months. Do it for you, but allow yourself to cry. Even even as a boy. Nobody chat, no, I mean, I can't cry. You're allowed. Everybody has tear pause. In biology, everybody has. Does not know boys don't have. We are allowed to cry. I read this verse that said, I, somewhere in sound, I don't remember where it was. I don't know if it was just in my head, I don't know. But it said, your tears are like 
rain to a seed the seed that's your heart right so your tears grow that seed in your heart so sometimes you're allowed to cry and to go through things because they make you grow but if you hold it in you're just keeping that seed just there that seed of unforgiveness and hatred and to make you salty that person is going to dip and live a happy life when you'll be there salty about the situation that happened five years ago like some of you girls are salty <laughs> Yeah, holding on to things that happened five years ago cry it out let it go allow yourself to go through the emotions of everything no one should tell you that you can't do it you can do it you're allowed if you want to make a music video in the shower play what now and let the shower be cold and just sit on the floor just cry yeah <laughs> you are allowed that much it makes you so much happier afterwards to have fully gotten over something and move on than enter the next phase in your life with baggage and speaking about crying crying plus music equals healing <laughs> I'm sorry, but for me, that's how it is. One thing that really helped me in everything, in everything I've ever been through in my life is God and music. But I'm talking about music right now. Music is healing for the soul. I don't mean play vulgar music and start in sound. Like, no, uh, I don't do that. Actually, I've linked, if you're going through a heartbreak right now, I've linked a Spotify playlist, my playlist in the description. It's called Just Crisis. You're allowed. Make sure you play, make sure you cry, okay? Sometimes if somebody says the things that your heart wants to say and you don't know how to say it, but then somebody says it so you can sing. <laughs> Point number four is please eat. Eat, drink water, drink juice, eat. Don't allow yourself to die for that person. Allow yourself to eat, buy chocolate, buy lollipops, buy pin pop, buy bang bang bubble. Do something. Just don't suffer yourself that much. And this is something that's very hard to do and I understand completely. It is very hard to do, but you must do it. You must eat. That's why if my friend is going through heartbreak or something, we are going to Angry Lion. You are going to eat. I, I tell you, eat. Don't let yourself die. Still on the whole mental health and not throwing things away don't throw school away please please let me tell you something uh relationships and heartbreaks if you are not if you're not memory strong me i'm a weak girl i'm a weak boy don't engage <laughs> don't engage just that reversing just hold on hold on because if you know that me when i'm heartbroken i can't focus on school don't do it some of us are tough or strong don't do that <laughs> some of us will be having depression and heartbreaks and crying and crying i'm still getting those a's don't be like some people mm -hmm. if you know that you're not strong enough don't engage <laughs> put that energy into the degree make sure you study so this is a message to those people who are watching this and your friend is going through a heartbreak right now make sure you're there for your friend make sure you're available for them do stuff to make them happy there's certain people who when they're going through something they keep quiet and they isolate themselves and there's people like me who like talking 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 and talking to a lot of people so you make sure you take care of your friend be there for them raise them up you know pray for them pray with them don't dish them at a hand I mean, I told you, I told you that same guy. Actually, on that thing of I told you that same guy, I forgot to write this down. I think that as a friend, don't force your friend to leave somebody. Okay, if you know that this guy, this girl, is doing my friend dirty, I feel like the best thing to do is to tell them, but leave the choice to them. This is something I always tell my friends, because if you make them end their relationship, and your friend sees the ex happy, that friend is going to come to you and say, that could have been me, but you made me break up with them. You may... Eh, eh. so let them sort it out themselves so that when they decide it's their decision and it's final so that whatever happens after that they only have themselves to blame and you will be there to help them because one day it will be you as i said nobody's too shoulders too tough too strong to never be heartbroken it will happen to you so be there for each other i don't know what point we're on but whatever point we're on don't rebound somebody what I mean is, after your breakup, you're looking for somebody to feel now that that emptiness. You find a guy who's vibing you, vibing you, making you feel nice, or you find a girl like that. Just for it to end in two weeks when you feel better about yourself. No, you're leaving a trail of wounded people behind. So take the time for you to heal. Learn to love yourself. And actually, this is something I was saying earlier in the morning today. You don't love yourself. So you think, okay, let me find somebody who's going to love me enough for, for them and for me they will love myself together no that is a very bad concept because what's going to happen when they go they've gone with the love for yourself and now you're just empty all over again so i feel like you should take the time to love yourself learn about yourself grow as a person be rounded as a person be individual so that even if they deep it hurts you yes but you still have your your peace of mind you're still not me i love myself regardless if that person didn't love me i would love myself and i will wait for somebody to love me with me 
and I will love them. Figure out who you are, be confident in who you are, love yourself where you don't need somebody else to love you too much. No, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I hope I'm making sense. The next point, and I think this is my second last point, is forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for allowing that girl, that guy to hurt you. Allowing that girl, that guy to insult you, to break you. You know, some people who are so toxic that they are the problem, but they will leave and make you feel like you're the problem. They're sick. Those are demons. I don't understand. That's stupid. Those are demons. You feel like, what if they left because I'm not good enough? What if they left because me, I look like this, me, I do like this? As I said, when you love yourself and you know your value and you know what you bring to the table, even if a person leaves you, not say, no, me, I was not pretty enough. Even if they say those words you know that uh, this guy is just copying <laughs> forgive yourself for allowing that situation and this is in everything i need to forgive them and then that way you move on and be happy them they'll be salty the whole time but you've forgiven yourself and i think that's something that we don't do enough even when we sin i pray for forgiveness from god but even after i'm done sometimes i feel the guilt and i tell myself lombe god himself he's let it go why are you still holding on to it so forgive yourself and say i will not go back to that and i'm going to move on that's that's growth that's healthy growth do you know what i mean and my very last point and you guys know that i will i will forever mention this in every single advice video is take it to god take it to god say god i i have learned my lesson being with that person has taught me this has taught me that now you help me to heal confide in god learn how he sees you when you see how he sees you you'll see yourself that way like me i'm fearfully made nobody can touch me who gonna check me if you take that energy to alcohol, to drinking, to smoking, you'll be more sad because that will never, that will never fill that void in you, ever. But if you take it to God, do not, ah, life is beautiful and i've never been more happy in my life honestly after taking everything to god anything smart happens you know what i mean so stuff like that you want to put it into prayer okay pray for that person to change it's hard but it's going to help you let go and forgive them pray for a next partner pray that god i want these qualities in my partner help me find the person for me the person that i need and not somebody who just says as a jim or jack as a sally or mary no 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 oh i have a friend mary mary not you not you <laughs> that's something i struggle with a lot forgiveness and it's something that you have to do daily and you have to take it to prayer but i feel like after you start letting go you start feeling more free about it so i'm gonna read a few responses that you guys gave me based on how you guys got over your heartbreaks this is from pumulo it says first things first honestly feel like every situation you're in needs prayer and as i say i always say this all the time prayer is a key to everything it works it works tremendously and i don't know where i would be in my life without prayer davina says it will hurt but honestly you can't Die. you can't die and please let me actually emphasize this point don't commit suicide for a girl for a guy and i'm so serious on this point you guys because you need to think about this if i die and i leave a note saying I've, i'm killing myself because john or, or sam broke my heart you know what's gonna happen you are going to die and sam and john are going to pray to god go to forgive them move on with life go to heaven and you know where you'll be you just know where you're going to end so don't do that please life is so precious there's too many bad things going on in the world for you to kill yourself over a heartbreak don't do that and it says ultimately you know that it will get better even if it doesn't feel like it so everything gets better in this life everything gets better with time so just put it into prayer be happy find hobbies find stuff that make you happy do activities put your energy into other things you know buy lombe's t-shirts they're only 200 link in the description <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it helped you if it did make sure you comment down below make sure you share and yeah i will see you guys in my next video anyway anyway if i hit it one time it will be better days yeah because you can tell them you ain't into me but when i pull up in the range it will be meant to be don't want no enemies want you to better me if i did something illegal would you pray for me would you